right now we're in the process of clearing snow on Washington Pass. We see any any movement at all really we, we let those guys know because a small little slough could turn into a bigger slide pretty easily um, given the right conditions. Hello, my name is Dwayne Wally. I'm a Tech 3 operator up here at Swift. I started in 91 full time up here at Swift. Got the operator's position about uh, six years after I started up here. I retired and I promoted up here. We've had it open as little as three weeks, and it's taken about two and a half months at other times. When do you think the pass might open this year? <laughs> I wish I had a crystal ball. Uh, probably somewhere around the 22nd, looking at it. When the signs are turned, the pass is going to be open. My name is Brandon yeah, Levy. I work yeah, with the North right. Central Engine DOT Avalanche crew. Basically what we do up here is we forecast and um, basically serve as avalanche guards. These guys are doing all the, all the work with the heavy machinery and we just kind of keep an eye on the avalanche paths above them and make sure no snow comes down on top of them and give them fair warning. If we do see some snow move, they can move out of the way and so we're, we're keeping them safe. So what's happening on the other side? Sounds like they made two miles yesterday up and back, and so that means that, you know, they'd be about mile post 150. So that gives us, what, about 17 miles in between us and them now. My name's Deep Fink. I'm the lead tech for the Washington State Department of Transportation. Right now we've got Eight people working up here, including the avalanche people. 